Hey everyone, Ryan's back with another quick tip. Today's tip is going to show you how to fix those sagging and sticking doors. If the doors are rubbing the frame or if they're hard to open or close, then this is just the tip for you. And the best part is, you don't need any special tools or special knowledge. All you need is a pen, some scissors, a piece of cardboard, and a drill or a screwdriver. So let's go ahead and get to fixing our door. You can see at the top of our door that it's rubbing against the frame. And as we go down, you can see that that gap gets wider and wider. So what we're gonna try and do is pull the top of the door back that way to get an even gap and to keep our door from rubbing and sticking against the frame. Because we want to open the gap at the top of the door, we want to take the hinge off of the frame at the bottom of the door. So all you have to do is just remove the screws to get your the hinge off your door. Now that we've got our hinge removed from the door frame, we're ready for our cardboard to make a spacer, which is gonna help push the bottom of the door out to pull the top of the door back. So all we need to do is put our piece of cardboard behind and trace it out. Once you have it traced out, you're ready to cut it out and make as many of the spacers as you need. I've got a couple of spacers cut out and now we're ready to go ahead and put it between the hinge and the frame. So I'm upgrading to longer screws because now that we're adding a spacer, the existing hardware may not be long enough to properly secure everything in place. So I'm gonna go ahead and get our spacer put in and everything screwed back together and we'll see what it looks like. All right, so I've got my spacers in place. It's time to see the results. What do you know? The door doesn't stick and it doesn't rub. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at it we can see that we've got a gap and the door's not rubbing against it and it opens and closes pretty smoothly. So hopefully you guys found this tip helpful and if you got any other tips or any other uh, home maintenance ideas, be sure to comment below. Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you on the next one.